So another little simple hack. Um, a lot of bags, I mean obviously uh, we're making these particular adjustable rests um, and they will be on the market very very shortly. Um, with this particular one, uh, one of the things that we tried to develop was to have PTF um, material on these here, on the ears here. And that actually complicated manufacture quite significantly. Um, and the hack here is to actually have the PTFT either on your stock or on the bag rider that you're using. And I'm not really sort of talking about the rest here today, but what I'm looking for is for us to have PTFT, so if, if that's your bag rider there, is that that will fit into your bags. And what I'm looking for is movement of that in those bags. And you can see there the rest is hardly moving. So what I'm looking for is that. So it's just coming straight back and you move it forward and obviously the recoil there straight back again. And Richard Utting does uh, a number of videos about the necessity for that. We're wanting that straight back movement. Why I like the tube is that there's three points of contact. There's a contact on each of the bags and on the base here. And that is obviously uh, hopefully reducing tri uh, friction. And that's why I like the tube, albeit that, you know, there's a variety of designs out there that are all uh, serviceable. But for me, the, the tube is actually the, the type of thing that I would go for. Obviously with a normal stocked rifle, you would have panels on each side or maybe going round the base of the, uh, the stock itself. So what I'm going to look at for this hack is some DIY PTFT tape. So what we're looking for is to create this on the bag rider. And PTFT tape is incredibly, incredibly expensive. I have some that I bought from America when I was shooting a bench rest, and that was pretty expensive. I think for a 30 meter roll, uh, you know, um, cheap copies are around about 40 pounds. You can actually pay up to 150 pounds for PTFT tape. And what I'm looking for is to use something that's actually doing the job just as well and is a lot cheaper. So what I thought about was using a Teflon baking tray sheet. Now these things come in packs of three to five. I've got a black version here because it's actually a Teflon sheet. And I've done a variety of tests on this and obviously one of the things I did do was an abrasive test that's just there to see how hard wearing it was. The tape, whether you buy the expensive version or whether you buy the cheaper version is going to go. These sheets I think are actually, um, uh, the specification is up to 200 degrees, not that you would need that but that takes quite a bit of wear. So these Teflon sheets here, what I'm looking for is to use a tape on the sheet. This is actually a carpet tape and the carpet tape is ultra high tack and it will stick to this, okay? If you want to make it stick really, really well, you can obviously heat up the glue and then you can actually put that onto these sheets. They are high slick. Okay, so you do need a really, really, really high tack um, double-sided tape. Carpet tape for me has worked the best. You, this is a 50 millimeter version. You can get 100 millimeter versions. I think they're about 15 pounds. I think certainly the roll that I'm using, which is this one here, um, that was about eight or nine pounds um, for this. And it's actually um, certainly stuck down the carpet that I've got my feet on at the moment. So that's the type of thing that you can use. What that will do is it will add a thickness to the, um, your tube here. So I'm using a 25 millimeter tube and this is a bit sticky. But what that will do is it will add approximately, if you can get that off, I did have this prepared, there you go, that's the one. What, you, what it will do is it will add a certain thickness to that rod and it's around about 20 millimeters or 0.2 of a millimeter sorry 0.2 of a millimeter so either side that's going to add around about 
0.4 of a millimeter to the thickness of that bar. Okay, so that's not significant at all. So what we're looking for is to be able to use the tape here and stick that onto your bag rider. That will be very, very smooth. Okay, and the tape here is actually re really easy to get all of. You can get that from Amazon, you can get it from a variety of stores. And once that's stuck on, again, you can heat that with a hairdryer to get that stuck on um, a little bit uh, more secure if you wish to. Cut that out, and then obviously you're applying that to your bag rider here. Trying to make sure that there's no air bubbles in that whatsoever, because obviously that was going to affect the movement backwards and forwards. So that's a cheap way of creating PTFT tape that's very, very expensive. This will last, and obviously because it's so cheap, I think one of these sheets is about £1.50, obviously I'm talking about that in England, and you can actually replace that pretty, pretty easily. What's really nice about this as well is that I will apply both to the bags here and to this, I will apply some sort of uh, PTFT dry lube or a silicon dry lube because what I'm getting what I'm looking for is hardly any movement there whatsoever okay so I'm getting very little movement all that's happening is that the, the rifle is recoiling in that bag that is helping against the Kajura fabric that we've got here putting a PTF lube on this and this actually just aids that process but what I'm looking for is that really really simple movement and obviously in your bags you do want to make sure that it's actually exactly what you want I've gone for a 25 mil some people will say that's too bulky uh, but I, it works for me you can obviously use um, thinner tubes um, working out the diameter um, for the tape a little bit of simple maths um, pi d um, making sure that you've got the circumference. It comes to about, and you want a, about a five millimeter overlap there. It comes to about 84 millimeters that you need in terms of the distance around that circumference just there. So a little bit of a hack that uh, would possibly help. You can buy this in a variety of colors. I think you can get silver. Certainly the Teflons here, I think it just came in black, but you can get this type of material as well. I find this a little bit uh, more coarse because you can feel the fabric there, but that's another type of baking tray. That's the sort of thing that I've been using for around about uh, 10 months now. Um, and it's very similar in actual fact to um, the surface of the tape that I got from America many, many years ago. You're talking about a decade ago, and I used on my BR guns for a number of years. So that's a simple idea. It will cost you pennies, Certainly the tape and this, it will cost you around about seven pounds. The tape will last you forever. You've got replacements there. You can make extra replacements. I keep a, a couple of replacements in my bag of this sheet prepared just in case anything goes wrong, um, especially if I'm away. And what we're looking for is that smooth backwards and forwards motion. And hopefully that's of use to people. Thank you. And thank you for watching.